All right, um, this week I want to do, I feel like I'm kind of wrapping up my project here, <laughs> and I want to do a set of videos on um, correlations that I feel like exist between um, the Devi Mahatmyam and the Ashtanga series. And so, um, just oddly enough, this is the way things happened, um, I slowly, because I didn't know what the Devi Mahatmyam was a couple years ago, um, I had no idea what that was. I um, probably about five or six years ago had started learning about mantra and just kind of not knowing it, I was learning about mantras that had to do with the Devi Mahatmyam and then only maybe a year or two ago I learned of its existence and then as some, you know, wild thing, I ended up in a class um, learning to chant the Devi Mahatmyam um, last fall and I just finished that class about a month ago um, and I'm still, you know, working on the chanting. Um, so at the same time that all of that was happening, I was also learning the Ashtanga series. I had started learning Ashtanga like back in the late 90s um, in Golden, Colorado with a woman named Carol um, Dristy. <laughs> and um, she was awesome. She taught at the rec center um, in Golden, Colorado um, on like one day a week. I can't remember if it was Saturday or Sunday. But anyway, so I knew about it back then. And then I ended up here in Vermont and... Um, there was an Ashtanga studio and turned out to be a really good one um, with somebody who, you know, learned way early on um, about this practice. And so she knew a lot about, like, the old way it was done. So I started learning the old way that Ashtanga was practiced. And at the same time, kind of unbeknownst to me, I started learning about the Mahatmyam. And then this last year, I've been in this class. And um, so... 